Charles Mustang, and now we're down to the last car in the Crew 2 bundle with the Porsches, and that is the Porsche 959 from 1986. This was Porsche's top dog back then. Like, this is like the Ferrari F40, not quite the McLaren F1, but it was like the Ferrari F40, the Lamborghini Countach, I mean, it was the top dog back in its day. But as usual, it has, by the way, it, it has all its upgrades. It has, of course, I did no pro settings. But one thing I was just getting ready to say, it does have quite a bit of customization to it. I was impressed with how much customization this thing has. And it has three wide bodies. I think two of them are from race cars. And I think the final one is just a custom one, that motor that I retarded themselves. So if you're into putting wide bodies on it, there you go. And you can practically turn it into the race car version of itself. But the race we're going to be using today is along the Mississippi. Because that's perfect for this car considering it's all-wheel drive. At least if I remember right, it's all-wheel drive. And this car is very good at corners. And very good at top speed. And there's a good bit of top speed area too. So... As usual, go quiet and I'll tell you my thoughts after the run.
into my thoughts. This thing kind of sucks about pro settings. I just come straight down to it. It sucks. It may be better with pro things. But I don't know because it has that wibble. It, well, I call it the wibble wobble physic. And basically, it's where the car wobbles a lot. It's extremely unstable, especially at high speed and if you hit a bump around a corner or something like that. That's why I was hitting the brakes so much, and that's why I was trying to slow down on the corners, and that's why the corners I didn't do it, you saw me slam into a wall. This thing is very un very unstable, and it has what I call the wibble wobble physic. I mean, it could possibly be tuned out, but I don't know. Because there's a lot of cars in this game that, like the GTO... Uh, the fire, well not the Firebird, but the GTO, there's a couple other cars that have that physic and it cannot be tuned out of them, no matter what you do to them. The only time it gets knocked out of them is when it got put in the Motorfest, but of course, as I said before, that's different physics. So hopefully it can be tuned out, but as for right now, this is not worth buying the bundle. You bear off waiting until somebody makes a tune and then buying this car on its own, or go ahead and buy the bundle for the two other cars and just leave this car until somebody makes a tune for it because this car is not worth the bundle the other two are but not this one that's all i really have for today's video and i see you guys later in the next video